But the real world is with struggle and strife that, that they have to fight, they have to struggle themselves, they have to, to follow the system. As a result like we said the shaykh holds an encryption. So you, you can't get these keys without all of these security checks and anyone who knows this system there's going to be double authentication at every moment they're going to call your number and check who you are and are you really the one logging in. All of what we see now of internet securities that are coming they're not a drop in the understanding of Allah's security. But it should give the seeker an understanding, my goodness if, if the internet and dunya is like this imagine how Allah is, you can't hack a heavenly kingdom. Allah describes that there are shaitan trying to listen and as soon as they try to listen Allah sends a shuhab, 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 shuhab against them, sends an angel to fire and hit them. So no, no, nobody's stealing anything from Allah So it's a, it's a highly encrypted system in which they have to meditate and contemplate, they have to make their connection. We said the night before and Hajjah Kareem wanted to go deeper into the Qur'an is reading you, right? That's something deep for people to understand. You think you're reading the Qur'an and what they want us to know is negate yourself. What you're reading the Qur'an? The Qur'an is a secured encrypted book and the Qur'an is actually reading you. And, and as soon as you log on, you open up, you try to retrieve from it, it immediately looks to you and says, no way you're not anyone worthy of anything and it will only tell you right and wrong, fire punishment, fire punishment, fire punishment, they put the book down scared. They said, what the heck was this, these are all rules and you're going to burn, you're going to… yeah because it read the person and gave them what they needed to know. Means for you nothing but fire and punishment and they put it down. So it means the, the Qur'an will talk to the person and identify them. Then if you understand our teachings uh, you should be meditating, contemplating, why? Because the Arabic messenger is the Muhammadan light that exists within all the shaykhs and the shaykhs and the shaykhs and the shaykhs and their shaykhs. Their system of madad and their system of training brought upon them Muhammadun Rasulullah. So they are Muhammadun Rasulullah's light they have the light of Prophet emanating in their entire being. So when they trained in their madad, they trained in their practices and they began to look to Holy Qur'an and Qur'an looks to them and sees Muhammadun Rasulullah and begins to open for it everything that it needs again to their darajats. And this is just by you to understand the analogy because they don't have to open it. They can connect with their heart to have that light transferred to them and that Qur'an begins to teach them. That kitabullah, right, and Allah gives their category as kunma rabbaniyoon, bi rabbaniyoon, whom they understood the book and then they taught the book. The book al-kitab is who? Is Prophet We said before, you had a book before, then you had a tablet and then you understand the, the knowledge of that tablet can be conveyed to any device now, right? Before I had to walk around with a book because it was only on these pages. Then the technology said, well, oh I can send you a book on here. So now the book doesn't need to exist in any physical spatial matter. The book is a, a knowledge and a light that can go into anything. If I want it to come into here, it will come right into here. So it means now people are understanding the kitab is a light. So the, the kitab of Allah is the Muhammadan light. So then that kitab looks to you and if it sees Muhammadun Rasulullah 
its encryption opens. Depending upon their Muhammadan light and the degree to their Muhammadan light, the encryption is opening from Muhammad to Muhammad and begins to flow. And that was from just the simple understandings of salawat. We said, when, when we make one salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet described that Allah will send my light ten times to you. In the world of light what is ten times? And what is that light coming with? It's coming with the best of what Allah has to offer is the Qur'an. So every salawat is bringing the lights of Qur'an onto your soul because it's the companionship of Al-Kitab, keep the companionship of the book of Allah What's the book of Allah Keep the companionship of Prophet whom he is the custodian of the book, he is the, the manzil of Qur'an. But they didn't understand the Wahhabis so then they walk around with the Kitabullah. And that's why when they speak they're very hard, they're nothing from what we describe. They think that they're walking with the Qur'an but they didn't understand it. Because the Qur'an is not reading them, not accepting them because there's no Muhammadun Rasulullah So they actually walk around with the Furqan and they yell at everybody because that's what they had. The one whom has love and ishq he's walking with Prophet His companion is Muhammadun Rasulullah the kitab of Allah as a result, every salawat he's giving back Qur'an, every salawat he's filling your heart with Qur'an because you are with walking Qur'an. So can you then imagine the immensity of this love and what it's capable of? If you take that love out and people think, you know what, I'm going to walk around with the book that didn't open for me and just becomes a book of harshness. And that's not what Allah wanted. That's why we're in need of guidance of awliya. No, the real book of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad and it must be in your heart, must be in your entire being and that Prophet begin to convey the realities of Qur'an. So then the beginner begins to read with those lights the Qur'an is looking to them and sees the traces of the love of Muhammadun Rasulullah and begins to give its inspiration, give its guidance, hudan al-mutaqeen that this is a, a guidance that begins to come. Who's the guidance? Means this is all the Muhammadan light that comes into the souls and hearts of people, give them inspirations, give them proximity and closeness until they feel the nearness to the word of Allah and that is the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah emanating all around their being. So inshaAllah very deep, very deep reality, inshaAllah dress us and, and bless us from the immensity, immensities of, of these lights and these understandings in the last days that uh, imagine what type of uloom and knowledges of the Qur'an will be coming with the most highest uh, Muhammadan representative where Mawlana Shaykh was said that uh, a new understanding of Qur'an will be present with the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi because it is the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah coming with the immense, immense openings. Even from now when we talk of Ayat of Qur'an these people haven't heard these things. So imagine when the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi is coming and he's amongst the community and that Muhammadan light is amongst the community, how that Qur'an will begin to speak to people. Not the Qur'an they have written on ink and ink that maybe is not so appropriate on paper but the reality of the light of Holy Qur'an that be flowing into the hearts and souls of people just by their presence and proximity to a Muhammadan light inshaAllah. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
This is Sheikh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.